Hello, this is Jim Grisanzio, and we are at. Let me turn this off. <laughs> we are at uh, in um, at uh, Tokyo Java Day in Japan, and I'm with Edson Yanaga. Edson, uh, welcome. Ah, thank you, Jim. And we're here to talk about domain-driven design. You're doing a session today on domain-driven design. Right? Exactly. Um, well, first of all, let's start off with what is domain-driven design. Okay, and nice that you mentioned that because uh, domain-driven design is, uh, unfortunately, I think that's uh, not such a widespread concept in the developer community. But I think the main point of domain-driven design is that you, instead of focusing first on technology, you're focusing on the domain model, which leads to better solution when you try to implement that. And you have many different aspects of domain-driven design. You have the strategic aspects, which means how do you tackle the problem to create a model. And you have the tactical patterns of domain-driven design, which means that after you have a model, how do you uh, create a good implementation of that? So there are many great speakers that talk about the strategic part, but I chose to focus on the tactical patterns. So that's what I'm going to talk about. After you have your model, uh, what are the some of the good approaches that you can use to transform that into a very nice implementation into code, and specifically using Java E technologies. Okay. So did you already give your session, or is it later on? No, I'm about starting 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Okay. Well, we got we just have you just here actually actually just for a few minutes. So, cool. Um, I'm I'm wondering, you know, you've been here, you know, for the morning. We had the keynotes there. It was a full room. There's a lot of people here. Um, I've noticed there's a lot of young people here as well. Um, your session, domain driven design, is that something that young, so young developers, young Java developers, you know, will be interested in? Is uh, so, or is it more of a high end thing, more of an advanced thing? No, I think it's appropriate for all ages. Uh, uh, everybody, okay. okay, good. Yeah, and it's very nice to see young people because when you think of, when you usually you have this um, uh, thi thinking that if you're talking about Java, they are senior developers, they are developers that are 40 plus, and when you see such a crowd, like when you have like young developers joining this huge Java enterprise developer community, it's so nice. And in fact, we've been discussing this best practices for the past 20 years. And, and, and that's the reason that I wanted to talk about because I think that we have a whole generation of developers that missed the train when we started discussing that. And uh, maybe you don't find many speakers talking about this subject again. I think it's very, very useful for this new generation and for the more experienced developers that uh, didn't quite have the opportunity to to learn that much. We didn't have so much books and internet oh, okay. 10, 15 years ago about the subject. Yeah. All right. So this is just about good software development, good practices of, of writing software. Yes, I yes, I believe that um, how do you software is as much important as why you should be doing that. And instead of just getting some lines of code and committing to a GitHub repository, I think that our lives as developers are easier if our code is easier to maintain, easier to add functionalities, uh, easier to spot bugs and so on. And that's why I want to focus because, of course, our, our purpose is not to be crafting code, is to be helping people with the code that we, we produce. But I think we can help more, even more people if we create better code. And that's why I, I chose this subject to, to cool. present. Cool. Um, so what what is your impression of this event actually? Um, because you're here as a part of a dev tour, basically a, the motorcycle tour that you know Stephen you know Chen is on, and um, with like they've got three or four motorcycles right at this mm -hmm. point, and a couple of uh, chase cars, and there's about you know ten people involved in this tour. Um, Stephen and Sebastian are touring the whole country of Japan basically, but you're only on a portion of it. Right. Yes. Uh, so I, I met you in Osaka. Yes, a couple days ago. That yeah, I uh, I landed at uh, the Kansai airport, so I joined the tour for just three cities: Osaka, Nagoya, and now Tokyo. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I had like some uh, schedule conflicts. I w wasn't able to to make it before, but well, I'm a Brazilian Japanese. I couldn't be more excited to be here in the land of my grandparents. So How often do you get here? 
it's my very first time. This is your first time. Yes. No kidding. Wow. So it's a very emotional thing for me. Wow. And that's amazing. So, um, so your grandparents are from Japan. Yes, all of them. All of them on both sides of the yes. family. Wow. So I'm really well. I, of course, I would be impressed, but Japan is much more than I would expect. I loved everything, of course, and since I have this this old time Japanese culture in, in embedded in my family, I well, it's not uh, it's not completely new for me, but living it here, it's yeah, as I said, it's well, a but very strong feeling. Okay, but you live in a Japanese. So you grew up in Brazil? Yes. Within a Japanese community? Yes. The largest Japanese community outside Japan is, is in, in the Brazil. south of Brazil. Mm -hmm. Like in my hometown, approximately 30% of the population, population is Japanese. So we still keep the traditions from the people that left Japan 100 years ago. Was it that long ago? So yeah, my grandparents left Japan uh, this year. It's going to make 100 years. Wow. So, so what are some of the distinctions? We'll get back to the technology in a minute, but I'm really interested. What are some of the distinctions between the Japanese community there and here? Obviously, this is just your first time. So, I mean, but what do you? What's your impression? Yeah, I didn't have enough days to yeah to just uh, establish some some ideas. But as I said, uh, I think th I think the nice thing that the Japanese culture in Brazil was frozen from the culture that from the people that left at here that time years ago right so it didn't really evolve you think yes i think they i think they they, they 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 were attached to the this traditions mm -hmm. and they wanted to keep it the way that was a hundred years ago and i think it's uh, uh very nice for them uh, but for the very few time that i'm here in japan i can see that i, I still can see the spots of the culture but I can see that it evolved. It evolved, yeah. Yes. Interesting. So and uh, and actually, yeah, there was a lot of young guys here, you know, today. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, Java obviously is is a, a big deal in Japan. Has been since the beginning. Mm -hmm. And talking to some of the other people, um, some of the other speakers, and some of the developers, and I used to work on the Open Solaris project. Mm -hmm. So we did a lot of joint events actually here. So I met a lot of Java developers and. Um, these are high-end guys, and and um, so, you know, now you're mixing with them here at this event. So, what's your impression of this event? I mean, it's a pretty good attendance here, but it's just for one day. Um, you so, if you can you talk about maybe some of the conversations you've had with some of the developers here? Mm -hmm. Yes, again, that's something that impressed me because. I uh, didn't know much what to expect here. Let's see, I imagine Japan is a very traditional, and I was again I was expecting senior people working on that. So well, not everyone's old. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Oh no, we are all young. Okay? I'm just <laughs> I'm just glad to see people, well, 10, 15, 20 years younger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah. Than ourselves, and that's. Uh, Again, it everything was exciting, and this excites me so much more because it's it's like having a legacy that you can see that it keeps going on, and I, I truly believe in that because uh, some years ago I I was very frustrated in my career career and I needed a purpose needed a purpose to do that, so I decided that I wanted to help developers worldwide to to be better on their their professions on how did they code and I'm so happy to be here to be able to share this with this younger generation so so again it's yeah very emotional for me yeah. well yeah this is fantastic because you have a, a you have a personal reason to come but also a also a you know also a you know, technical reason mm -hmm. employment reason right um, so you live in the United States now you live on the East Coast you work at Red Hat in yes. yeah in I just uh, well I lived in my entire life in Brazil so far but 10 months ago, I moved from the south of Brazil, from the city of Maringá in the state of Paraná. It's about 700 kilometers west of Sao Paulo, but it's a different state. And now, again, 10 months ago, I moved to Raleigh, North Carolina. Wow. So you're trilingual then? I can pretend to speak in many different languages. I think the ones that I could consider myself to be fluent are Portuguese and English, but I can pretend 
reasonably well in Japanese. Spanish, French. Wow. Uh, a bit of Italian and amazing. Uh, and Japanese, I can survive. But right. I, ta I was talking to a lady here at the hall. Uh, I tried some Japanese, and she said that, well, you pretend more than you speak, but I can understand you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised she said that. That's just really yeah, interesting. Yeah, she was very honest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was nice. It was it very was good. great. Yeah, I need to improve, of course. Yeah. We all do. Amazing. Okay, well, um, so you're going to come back again then, I would imagine. Yeah, I hope to. Well, yeah, because it I think I'm becoming addicted to Japan. I hope to be able to come more often and more times. I don't know, maybe this year or even for Java Day Tokyo in next opportunity. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, well, that's it. It was great. So I'm glad you were here. Um, My pleasure. It's a very interesting conversation, and um, sorry we won't be joining you. Actually, you won't be able to go to uh, Jay Onsen. Um, yes, I'm sad I'll about that, too. So I'll be on that leg of the tour. There's, all, uh, there's different people on different sections of this, mm -hmm. you know, of this, of this you know, tour. So yeah, but um, that's, well, even if people can't join the whole tour, see that uh, Japan and the developer community here, such an attractive thing that you, you you get it like these awesome people coming from all around the world just to have the opportunity to be here even if for a very few days right i think again it, i think it just shows up how special it is to be here yeah cool great okay so your session later on is on domain driven design and we'll see you again hopefully in japan and yeah. we'll see you guys shortly for some more interviews thanks bye-bye Thank you.